When BTS's manager hit Jungkook, Jin's gift for his pregnant sister-in-law, BTS's discharge dates, and V discusses injury, fan connection, personal growth, and creative goals amidst challenges. In his leisure time, Jin made a point to visit his family members. During one of these visits, he made a trip to his uncle's farm, which coincidentally was during the peak season for strawberries in South Korea. This timing proved to be perfect as the strawberries were ripe and ready to be enjoyed. Given the season, it's no surprise that the other BTS members also expressed their desire for some of these strawberries. Jin was humorously dubbed the leader of strawberries by RM, who playfully urged him to bring back some strawberries upon his return. True to his nature, Jin went above and beyond by personally delivering the strawberries, allowing for a moment of togetherness among the group members. However, the gesture of sharing strawberries wasn't limited to his bandmates. Jin's older brother, Kim Seok Jung, shared on Instagram that Jin had also thoughtfully sent strawberries to him. Kim Seok Jung highlighted the special significance behind this gesture by revealing that his wife, who was pregnant at the time, had a craving for strawberries. Jin, showing his considerate side, personally delivered the strawberries to satisfy his sister-in-law's craving. Kim Seok Jung's Instagram post praised the strawberries' taste and expressed gratitude for the thoughtful delivery, emphasizing how much it meant to them. Jin's actions showcase his strong family values, demonstrating how much he cares for his loved ones. Beyond just sharing sweet treats, Jin also played a role in naming his nephew, an act that inspired his brother to change his Instagram username. This story highlights Jin's deep connection with his family and his generous spirit, leaving a lasting impression of warmth and familial love. As each member of BTS serves their time in the military, ARMY is eagerly marking their calendars for the day they can welcome their idols back. Exploring the timeline of their service, we find a range of discharge dates that span from the end of 2022 into 2025. Specifically, Jin's service is expected to conclude by June 12, 2024, having begun on December 13, 2022. Following him, J-Hope's service from April 18, 2023 is set to end on October 17, 2024. Shuga, whose service commenced on September 22, 2023, will return by June 21, 2025. Close behind, RM, Jimin, V, and Jungkook are all slated to complete their duties by mid-June 2025, with their service starting in late 2023. The anticipation grows among fans, especially in light of recent news discussions speculating on the possibility of a world tour post their military commitments. This buzz has only added to the excitement within ARMY as they look forward to the group's reunion and return to the global stage. Valentino has unveiled an enthralling campaign for its Spring 2024 collection, featuring a captivating appearance by BTS's Suga in what is described as his final performance before beginning his military service. Titled The Narratives, this campaign provides an intimate look at a day in the life of the artist, set against the vibrant backdrop of Seoul. The journey with the singer includes a fan signing event right on the streets, offering a raw glimpse into his world. Under the direction of Valentino's creative director, Pierpaolo Piccioli, and captured through the lens of photographer Theo Wenner, Suga seamlessly blends his everyday life with the brand's innovative vision for the season. This collaboration illustrates how Suga's personal style and daily activities align with Valentino's surprising and unconventional approach for the Spring 2024 collection. The campaign presents a fresh take on formal attire, introducing an exciting color palette bold floral patterns, and a thoughtful exploration of proportions. These elements are skillfully balanced with Valentino's classic and enduring design principles, highlighting the fashion house's ability to reinvent and push boundaries while staying true to its iconic identity. The recent Spotify charts for the week spanning March 29th to April 4th have highlighted Jungkook's debut solo album, Golden, as a significant entry, placing it 21st in the weekly top global albums chart. This inclusion marks a continuation of Jungkook's record-setting journey, as Golden has now been featured for an impressive 22 consecutive weeks on this chart. This achievement cements Jungkook's status as the first K-pop solo artist to reach such a milestone, showcasing an unparalleled consistency in chart performance. Initially, Golden held a strong presence within the top five of the same chart for five weeks straight, later maintaining a position in the top 10 for 13 weeks. This performance has set a new benchmark for the longest charting album on Spotify by an Asian solo artist. Further emphasizing Jungkook's influential presence on Spotify, 
the weekly Top Songs Global Chart for the same period saw three of his solo singles achieving remarkable positions. Seven was listed at 40th, 3D at 158th, and Standing Next to You, a leading track from Golden, at 63rd. These songs have respectively held their chart positions for 38, 27, and 22 weeks, underlining Jungkook's impactful solo career. Moreover, Golden has broken records by being the fastest studio album by an Asian artist to exceed 3.1 billion streams on Spotify. This achievement also distinguishes it as the first solo K-pop album to reach such a streaming milestone. Adding to his list of accomplishments, Jungkook recently became the first K-pop solo artist to feature on Spotify's Global Daily Top Artist chart for a total of 300 days, setting another record and underscoring his significant influence in the global music scene. Halsey and BTS share one of the most notable friendships within the music realm, a relationship that blossomed after their first meeting at the 2017 Billboard Music Awards. This bond has paved the way for significant musical collaborations, including the 2019 chart-topping track, Boy With Love. Throughout their journey, both parties have consistently offered support to each other during pivotal moments. Halsey was present to cheer on BTS during their Permission to Dance on Stage concerts in Los Angeles, while BTS extended their congratulations to Halsey upon the arrival of Ender Ridley Aiden, Halsey's first child. This mutual support extends beyond physical presence, as demonstrated when Halsey revealed through an Instagram story that they had received a box filled with Korean snacks. Highlighting the gesture was a special edition bottle of Lotte's Zillatol gum, featuring Suga's face, a nod to BTS's collaboration with the brand. Although Halsey did not clarify the source of the gift, they expressed delight over the special delivery. A closer inspection of the package revealed a card addressed to Dear Ashley, Halsey's real name, accompanied by the word happy, leading fans to speculate that Suga might have sent the gift to celebrate the second anniversary of Halsey's album Manic, which includes Suga's interlude, a track they worked on together. This event has fueled speculation among fans about potential future collaborations between Halsey and BTS. This theory draws parallels with a previous scenario involving J-Hope and Becky G before the release of their song Chicken Noodle Soup, where Becky G teased the collaboration by posting pictures of Korean snacks. Interestingly, Halsey and Suga did collaborate again in June 2023 with the release of Lilith, an anthem for the game Diablo 4. Additionally, if the snack package was indeed a gift from BTS, it would not be the first time the group has sent Korean snacks to Halsey, recalling a similar gesture back in 2017 with a snack fever box, further cementing their ongoing friendship and mutual appreciation. V shared his insights and reflections in a recent discussion, touching on his solo endeavors, personal growth, and the nuances of his identity. His anticipation for his first solo album promotion was evident as he expressed his satisfaction and hope that music enthusiasts would find joy in his work. V's approach to releasing his songs individually stemmed from a desire to highlight the unique story behind each track, encouraging listeners to engage with them on a deeper level. One song that holds a special place in his heart is Friends, a track initially intended for his layover album, but released separately after a two-year pause. V revealed that the song, Rich in Memories, was shared with his close friends and brothers, promising its eventual release. His favorite lyrics from the song reflect a fresh change in tone that he particularly enjoyed, showcasing a different vocal style. Reflecting on the concept of firsts, V reminisced about BTS's debut showcase, attended by fewer than 100 people, before the formation of their dedicated fan base, ARMY. He nostalgically expressed a desire to return to that moment, marked by a mix of excitement and nerves. Similarly, he longed for the simplicity and freedom of his early adolescence, wishing to relive the carefree days of his youth. When discussing the distinction between his stage persona, V, and his offstage self, he noted the fundamental similarities in their personalities and aspirations. However, he also highlighted the differences, such as V's presence being confined to the stage, whereas his life encompasses a broader range of experiences. Pride, particularly in his work, team, and fans, emerged as a core aspect of V's inner self. This pride fuels his performances, reflecting his deep love for his craft and those who support him. In today's fast-paced world, V voiced a common wish for more time, finding the 24-hour day insufficient for work, play, and rest alike. Imagining his life as a drama, V envisioned it as a black comedy 
capturing the complexity and humor of his experiences. Lastly, he addressed a heartfelt message to someone special, emphasizing the importance of health, happiness, and physical strength until they can reunite, while humorously admitting his concern for his own well-being and determination to persevere. Media sources have reported a significant announcement from the Fair Trade Commission regarding HYBE, the powerhouse behind global sensation BTS. HYBE's financial growth has led to its classification as a business conglomerate, marking a historic moment as the first entity in the entertainment sector to achieve such status, attributed to the booming cultural industry. This development comes after HYBE's assets saw a 9.8% increase from the previous year, as noted by Yonhap Infomax Corporation. HYBE's portfolio now includes 16 affiliated companies, among them Weverse Company, Big Hit Music, Pletus Entertainment, and others, illustrating the extent of its expansion and influence within the industry. The response from the online community and fans has been mixed, with some expressing pride and amazement at HYBE's rapid growth and newfound status, while others question the implications of becoming a conglomerate. Concerns range from potential regulatory challenges to the impact on ticket pricing and compensation for employees. Debates also compare HYBE's new classification to other major players in the entertainment field, like SM Entertainment, which remains classified as a large entertainment company rather than a conglomerate. As discussions unfold, the focus turns to the potential changes this designation may bring to HYBE, its operations, and its roster of artists. Fans and observers alike are keenly watching to see how this development will shape the company's future strategies and its impact on the broader cultural industry. The global phenomenon K-pop band BTS is not only known for their musical talents, but also for their love of reading, extending beyond their leader RM to include other members. Among them, Jimin has shared several books that have caught his interest, making for a perfect reading list for BTS fans or those in search of their next book. One of the books Jimin has recommended is Between Calm and Passion Rosso by Kaori Akuni. This book, which is currently available only in Korean, explores themes of love and life's complexities. It gained additional recognition when it was turned into a Japanese movie, Kalmi Kori Apassionati, in 2001. During a concept meeting for an upcoming album, Jimin brought up Essays After 80 by Donald Hall, highlighting its reflective exploration on aging rather than the fear of death according to reports from Comedia. Another addition to Jimin's list is the legendary Moonlight Sculptor series by Haesung Nam. Jimin mentioned in an interview that he enjoyed reading this light Korean novel series before bedtime. The series concluded with 1450 episodes online as of July 2019, with its most recent book release being volume 57 in April 2020. Lastly, Jimin expressed his fondness for The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks, a novel that inspired the film of the same name. After watching the movie for the seventh time, as shared on Twitter, Jimin's appreciation for the story suggests that fans might enjoy reading the book as well. These books, ranging from reflective essays and light novels to romantic tales, offer a glimpse into the diverse reading interests of BTS's Jimin, serving as a curated selection for fans and avid readers alike. During a past interview, V shared his recent challenges, aspirations, and reflections on his connection with fans. Facing a calf injury just before an online concert in Korea, he expressed a keen desire to heal swiftly, acknowledging that the inability to perform in upcoming physical concerts, particularly in the U.S., would deeply affect him. Despite the setback, V's disappointment was palpable during the online concert, imagining the intensified emotional impact had it been in person. V also touched upon the significant role fan interaction plays in his life, especially through the Weverse platform. Despite recent limitations on his availability, he described this online engagement as vital, affirming that it grounded his sense of reality and connection with fans worldwide. His interaction on Weverse has been so meaningful that it dispels any notion of isolation, confirming for him that the army is very much real and present. In the realm of personal growth, V disclosed a shift in his Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, MBTI, from ENFP to INFP, signifying a move towards introversion. He discussed how this change affects his creative process, emphasizing the need for extended periods of solitude to foster his artistic expression. Despite a hectic schedule that limits his time for creativity, V remains committed to resuming his work on his mixtape once his schedule allows. 
Regarding his artistic aspirations, V conveyed a longing to create a song that withstands the test of time, akin to classical music. He aspires to maintain his integrity and principles throughout his career, values he deems crucial for his sense of self and artistic direction. V shared insights into his rigorous preparation for the song Butter, highlighting his dedication to overcoming vocal challenges to meet the high standards set by BTS's repertoire. Beyond music, V's interest in photography and music, particularly classical instruments, reflects his appreciation for the arts and a deeper sentimental connection to the world around him. His recent enchantment with a sunset illustrated this profound appreciation for simple yet meaningful moments. V's imaginative curiosity also extends to historical and mythological figures, expressing a wish to meet gods from Greek and Roman mythology if given the chance to travel back in time. Finally, V shared a heartfelt message to his dog, Yontan, acknowledging the struggles they faced together and his hope for a future filled with happy memories. Looking ahead to 2022, V expressed wishes for personal health, creative fulfillment, and more opportunities for BTS and the Army to connect, reflecting a blend of personal aspirations and collective hope for the future. In the tight-knit community of BTS and ARMY, the bond between the group and their management is usually seen as endearing. Yet, there was a time when this harmony was disrupted by a serious incident involving a manager and Jungkook. This event came to light in 2015 through a segment of footage from the making of BTS's 2016 season's Greetings DVD, where the manager appeared to raise his hand towards Jungkook in a threatening manner, causing the latter to react. This incident, coupled with verbal threats captured on the video, sparked outrage among fans. Initially, Big Hit Entertainment, the agency overseeing BTS, now known as Big Hit Music, sought to minimize the fallout from the incident. However, the growing concern among fans prompted the agency to issue a formal apology through BTS's official Twitter account. In their apology, the label acknowledged the distress caused to fans and affirmed their commitment against any form of oppressive behavior towards their artists. Recognizing the gravity of the actions captured in the video, which was intended to celebrate the band's connection with their fans. The label further announced that the manager involved had acknowledged his mistake, leading to his dismissal. The incident also prompted the company to reevaluate its management practices, with promises to implement a new system of internal regulations designed to prevent any recurrence of such issues. The commitment was made to not only maintain but also strengthen the trust and respect between the label, its artists, and their fans, ensuring a safer and more supportive environment.